Welcome back and we are going to a different topic and I want just to show you how Tecla structures interface with uh, commerce, I mean uh, platform commerce which can also uh, communicate uh, conveniently with, uh, with the SketchUp. So you, you find that you can take your model, however complex your model is, you can pull it from commerce, bring it in Tecla structures and if you're not familiar with with the two uh, two softwares, and we are very conversant with the commerce uh, with the with the uh, SketchUp. We'll be able to work all the way, maybe from commerce, you come to Tecla structures, and uh, from there you you can now uh, export your model into SketchUp. From SketchUp, you can now have some basic drawings like elevations, uh, uh, the isometric views, and the plans. If you don't want, if you don't want so much details about the steel members and the steel frames. Uh, and that's enough for you. So you can go that route. Now, if you take a look on the screen here, you can see I have a simple model of a footbridge uh, of uh, of a, a meter width and a span and a span of 12.5 meters. Just a small uh, a small uh, footbridge, uh, just for demonstration. So I, I want to export this to to SketchUp. Now, maybe the architect is not familiar with Tecla structures and you want just to extract some basic uh, elevations, maybe uh, 3D and all that. Now, we will convert this into a format. He will be able to uh, find his way on how he can create some basic drawings from it. Now, from here, I'll come to file here. Under file, I'll come straight to export. If I come to export right there, I'll be able to get uh, some options here and uh, this one specifically for SketchUp and I'll click on SketchUp right there. So then once I click on SketchUp, a uh, uh, small dialog box, box should pop up where we'll be, in getting, we'll be now defining the directory, uh, the file directory of our, of our model. Now if you take a look on output, on the output file, we have the out uh, by default, uh, Tecla structure will give it a name here, but further we can also add a name or we can just give it a different name by clicking on that button. So if you click here, you'll, uh, you'll be choosing the directory where you want to save the file. So uh, from here, I'll be able just to give a name to, to this file here and maybe just to type the same name, F -F FBR, FBR23. FBR23, that will be okay. So if I come, if I come here and now I want to uh, save it, I want to save it or click open. So, so the moment I, I click open, uh, that directory where, where where the file will be located will be will be shown here. You can see from my C drive to take a structure model. Then we have the model folder here for bridge. Then we have uh, the SketchUp. Uh, format right there. So if you come to advanced option here, we, we don't need so much. We don't have so much. We only pick this uh, the parts you need, need to be taken to uh, to to accompany that kind of, that model. So we have the parts. We have the reinforcing bars with which we've not indicated. We have the pole uh, the pole objects which uh, we don't need. We have the bolts of the weld. So this will be carried together. So in here we have two options here, create, uh, create selected, which we've not selected anything. So we are we have this option, create from all. So I'll go ahead and click create all. So create all will, will select everything on, on, on our working uh, window here. So we'll just give it some time to, to complete the exportation into, into, into SketchUp format. Then from SketchUp environment, I'll show you how we can now uh, come with, come up with some basic uh, drawings like elevations and uh, ele elevations and elevations and plans. Uh, this basically, if you don't need so much, if you don't need so much uh, details re regarding uh, the the uh, the model. Now, if you take a look on the screen, you can see we have export complete right here. And uh, from there, we can just go ahead and close this. So once we've closed this, and uh, st uh, since you don't need to uh, overload the system, you can now get rid of Tecla structures. Maybe just we can just go ahead and close it from here, or uh, we can just uh, we can maybe just uh, don't we don't need to save anything because it, we, we just use we all just use the initial file setup. 
So from here, we have a, a SketchUp window with us. So the next thing we are going to do, I'm going to bring it in. I want to bring it in, uh, mod our model in. So I'll come to file right there. So under file, I'll be able to maybe just click import or just open the file. Or uh, let me just come in here and open the file instead of importing it because it is actually a SketchUp folder, uh, a SketchUp, a SketchUp file. So we don't need any importation. Now, I'll just scroll to commerce i mean to tackle structures uh models so i'll just scroll and come to tackle structures model right here then scroll down to uh, footbridge right there so if i zoom close i'll uh, we'll scroll down and i'll be able to see it here and you can see it's fb23 uh, uh, footbridge 23 so it's, i just select it and click open so the moment i open it I'll, uh, I don't need to save anything of, 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 previous, of previous model and I just close that. So I'll give it some time to load and we have my model, we have the model in place. So this is all, all the way from, from Tecla Structures and you can also walk your way from Commerces to Tecla Structures now and, and, and to SketchUp. Now from here, if you are not conversant with Tecla Structures and Commerces, you can walk that way and convert this to SketchUp. And from here, you can extract your basic drawings like elevations. Now from here, I want to sit back, I want to uh, ha I'll have a look at this on the isometric view of this, and I can check on that, the top view of that, and I can see uh, this, uh, that elevation. And maybe I want to uh, create a, a, an elevation from here this view and uh, that will be in, in AutoCAD format. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to click on file. I'm going to click edit, not, not edit. I'm going to click on file, then come to export. So under export here, I'm going to pick on 2D graphic. So if I click on 2D graphic, uh, this dialog box will pop up and I can just retain the same same name and uh, I'll, I'll take I'll, I'll see the route where which I need to take I can give it a different location maybe I can scroll to a different location but you can just save it for wherever it is here I'm just scroll scroll and uh, maybe just uh, pick from from that spot and zoom out so I can save it from there and click options now the key part here, the most important part here is options here. Now under options, the scale, the drawing scale will be one to one. But as it is, uh, it's kind of tricky because we it is it is in imperial units, but uh, more so we work with uh, uh, metric, so we have to convert this. So we have to close this first and close this. Then now we'll come to windows here. So under Windows, you'll come to Model Info and pick on Model Info, then come to Units. Under Units here, we, have, we, have, we want to change the units instead of Metric. We, we, instead, of, uh, instead of Imperial, we want to work with Matrix. So I'll click on Format here and uh, pick on, in, on Engineering option right there, or uh, Decimal, and pick Decimal will be much better. So Length, we need... Uh, maybe millimeters, we need millimeters, area, we need millimeters, and volume, we need millimeters right there. So once I've converted everything, or once I've changed the units like it is here, I'll just go ahead and close this. So once I've closed that, closed that I'll come back to File, then come to Export. So under Export, I'll click uh, 2D Graphic right there, and uh, once I've done so, I'll uh, save my file. Now, why do I save my file too? I'll be able to maybe create a folder. I'll come to desktop here and maybe create a folder because I'll be creating, I'll be creating elevations. I'll, I'll be creating elevations for, from there. So once I've come to desktop, let me just uh, write a name here and uh, come to new folder. Let me just click on a new folder right there and I want to give it a name. Let me just give it a GTY right there. Just a random name, random name. So inside that folder, inside this folder is where we will be able to save our model. So 
uh, our, our elevation. So let, let me just type E1, insert this folder, and click export. So once I've clicked export, we'll give it some time to export this elevation view. So some time, and you can see the DWG, the ex export is complete, and click OK. So if I just make this, just drag this so that I'll be able to, uh, I'll be able to get my file, uh, my folder, my folder is here. So under this folder, I'll be able now to open it in AutoCAD. So if I right click and come to, and come to open with AutoCAD, and I'll open that with AutoCAD. So once it has, it has been opened, we'll be able to see the elevation of that. Uh, of that bridge in AutoCAD. So that's how you do it. So we'll give, we'll give AutoCAD some time to load, then we'll see how the elevation looks in AutoCAD environment. Let's give it some time. Now from here you can see we are, we are opening in, 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 AutoCAD, in, in AutoCAD environment and we have options here. I continue with the DWG file, I'll click on that. So I'll give it some time to open the drawing and you can see we have a full elevation of our bridge in AutoCAD all the way from uh, commerces to uh, to Tekla structures to 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 uh, to SketchUp and also it, it, it can be taken vice versa from Tekla structures to commerces. Now from here, uh, the reason why we are walking all the way from Tekla structures to 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 SketchUp and now to AutoCAD. Is, is that there are quite a number of people who are not con or conversant with, with either uh, these uh, detailing software, still detailing softwares. So uh, if you export the, if you take this to, if you want to share this with, the, with an architect and uh, he's not conversant with the uh, tech structures, and uh, this will be a little bit helpful to him. Now, once you're in an in AutoCAD environment, and because AutoCAD is, is, is commonly known and uh, many people know how to use it. And uh, that's why we are exporting into, into AutoCAD environment. Now, fr from here, I can now get rid of, of the parts I don't need, like these uh, unnecessary lines here. Uh, uh, this is just uh, a concrete uh, abutment or an abutment uh, for the footbridge here. So let me just get, delete those and uh, come here and delete that and delete that so that we have a neat uh, drawing. So let me just uh, select on that once again and delete. So press press, press, uh, press delete and uh, come here once again and uh, select on that and delete. And uh, if I come on the other end also, I'll be able to do a similar thing, but we don't need, we don't need to waste so much time and on this, but uh, let me just, just for a simple demonstration, let me just uh, come here and uh, just get rid of that and uh, click delete and give it some time to delete and let me just zoom out. The reason why our system is slow because we've opened quite a number of softwares we are, is, is an operation now because we have uh, the commerce is in place. We have uh, uh, SketchUp opened and uh, AutoCAD now it's open. So, uh, it's it's kind of overloading the system. That's how you see uh, my cursor kind of lags. And uh, let me just uh, select that also, and just select the parts I want to get rid. And once I've done so, I'll be able to delete everything right there. Uh, and uh, come here also and get rid of that. Come here and get rid of that. And so do so right there. And I get rid, want to get rid of that one also. So we have that in place. So if I zoom out, we'll be able to see we have a, 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 an elevation of, of our footbridge. So this is one to one scale. So if I come here and I want to maybe uh, try to uh, get uh, a dimension and I want to dimension, I want to confirm whether it is one to one scale. Uh, let me just uh, make my dimension a little bit smaller by picking a different scale. Now I want to just confirm the, this uh, from the bottom end here to the top here of this abutment is 1.2. So let me just confirm that prior to uh, uh, getting the measurement right there. 
So let me just confirm that. So we have that in place. So if I zoom out, this is 1.2 or uh, 1200 millimeters uh, in uh, 1200 millimeters. So I can leave it at that spot. So from here, you can go further and detail your drawing, your elevation drawings in AutoCAD if you're so much skilled in AutoCAD. Now this is an elevation. So you can generate all the gen all the elevations plan and the side elevations and export and, and take it to uh, to AutoCAD and be able to detail your your elevations from here. So that's all about uh, that today. And let's meet then on the on the next presentation on on other interoperability of different softwares. Uh, that are commonly used and I commonly use myself. Uh, bye bye, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'm Morris Dimba, and let's see you then.